The characteristics of being a woman of influence is obviously compassion, uh, mentoring, lifting people up. You know, um, it can be, we can get bogged down pretty easily. And so just making sure to encourage others and help them. And where you see their weakness, you can be their strength. And they can always help you with your weakness as well. I, I find that, you know, just making the phone call, it takes only a minute and you can just let them know you're thinking about them and ask them if there's something you can do to help them with anything they're doing. Um, it also requires teaching, you know, teaching others different skills or, or how to feel better about themselves and what they can do to have better self-esteem. Now, I served in the Air Force for 33 years I really believe that the biggest thing I brought over to real estate was service. I mean, I served 33 years. I was very service oriented uh, and that's why I stayed so long. So I really feel that uh, it taught me such a depth of service and the mentoring I had to do. I was the highest enlisted rank. So um, I obviously had to mentor the younger troops and, you know, just having an open door policy, People can come right in if they have to talk about something, I can help them. And I really feel that that part of my service and just being open to anything um, that might be able to help the other person just jump that hurdle they're going through, you need that in real estate. It, it can be um, a very, it's, it's actually the biggest investment you can make in your lifetime is purchasing a home, you know? and. People don't, aren't just born with that instinct, you know, they have to be educated and they have to know that you're listening to them. They have to know that, you know, you're going to be there every step of the way. And that's, that's probably the best thing I brought, uh, besides the discipline, of course, in the military um, and the working at whatever hours. Um, that's, that's really, I, I can attribute all of that to the Air Force.